Hey, what up? This your boy, Ricky Smiley. So, uh, Monique made this video, and uh, I was what I saw the video, and uh, I liked the video because ain't no way in the hell I would have had um, the nerve to to uh, make a video like that, even though I. I felt that way. I just didn't have the balls to do it or say anything because nowadays you can't say anything about anything um, without <laughs> getting canceled. Welcome to the Only Mail Cruise Show, the podcast. I am the Only Mail Cruise. Copyright disclaimer regarding fair use is in full effect. The views and opinions expressed in this show are all mine. Let's go. Thanks for pulling up to the Only Mel Cruz Show, the podcast. I am the Only Mel Cruz. Ricky Smiley jumps into Bonnet Gate. Monique says she y'all auntie. And she's up for the challenge. She's on y'all head about these bonnets. Title of today's episode, Right Messengers, Wrong Message. Let's go to work. Marty in a lab, so it's crazy. Why are black women always trying to admonish other black women? Why can't we see us and look for the positive instead of the negative? Now, this bonnet debate has been going on for years, at least since 2016. And why are bonnets such an important topic to some, but not others? Now, the way I feel about it, the discussion of black women's outer appearance being more important than what's inside, that's what the problem is. So we can look at, oh, her hair is laid, her outfit is to the nines, and ooh, she got it going on, she's in shape, or whatever the deal is. It's all the outward thing. And for black women, we seem to, that seems to always be where the discussion starts and stops. And no wonder the girl code is so confused and nobody knows what time it is. Even to the point where <clears throat> people feel like, what girl code? You know, is it a joke? Is it, is it a myth? Is it reality or is it a storyline? Here's my thing. Clothes don't make the man, woman, boy, or girl. The man, woman, boy, or girl makes the clothes and Marty where is it that crazy? we are more concerned with how we look on the outside so as black women when we when we want to get in here and talk to each other and you know give each other advice or whatever we call ourselves doing um it's about the out it's all about the outward but let's get into the inward, not the inward, but the inward part of us as black women. Because I can wear a bonnet and someone on the outside can look at me and say, well, you know, you don't look like you have pride in yourself. You don't look like you, you know, respect yourself. You don't look like you care about the family you've created. And I may look like that. But my actions and my heart say a whole nother thing. And yes, this leads me right back to Porsche. Porsche is beautiful as she want to be. Why aren't we addressing that? Why aren't we addressing the fact that on a large platform... Porsche is giving an example for others to follow. So when Monique says, oh, you know, I'm coming from a place of love and non-judgment and queens in training and queens and all this. Stop all that. You have a large platform. Let's use it. Let's address the thing that really counts. Because if, if my inside is right, it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. But if 
if I feel that it's okay to be on a public platform, steal somebody's man, flaunt that I stole your man, and then pull in my road dog and be like, yeah, you the best, best ever. Thanks for hooking this up. Getting tattoos of the man who's still currently married to some other woman. Now, it's one thing if you're doing all this behind the scenes and it comes out later that this is what you did. It's your business. It's your business if you do it behind the scenes or in front of the people. But for the people like Monique, you have these platforms, but you won't address these things. You choose to remain silent. To me, we shouldn't even look at you because there's nothing you can say about wanting black women to excel and be great and and, you know, calling them queens. And, you know, you, you can't say any of that if you won't speak up on the very main thing that makes black women look horrendous. What Porsche is doing is horrendous. What Shamika is doing as a as a uh, cohort with Porsche, it's horrendous. And if you are a celebrity and you've got a large platform and you choose of all things to get up and say, I'm some of y'all, some of y'all give me the title being y'all auntie. No, auntie, go go back where you at and sat down somewhere because. This bonnet thing will never end. People are making, people have created businesses off of these bonnets. Some men like it and some men don't. Some women like it and some women don't. But of all the things for us as black women to have conversations with each other about calling, you know, under the guise of, I'm here to empower you and help you to be better and help you to achieve. And, you know, don't holler at me about the surface things. Let's talk about the thing that is is what lasts forever. Let's talk about the thing that that will determine whether I get up in the morning and 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 be responsible, whether I, I come home and be responsible. So where the bonnet has nothing to do with it. My thing is, Monique, if you you run into all these people in the airport, they looking like whatever, and bonnets and scarves and head rags and however it was you described it, maybe you should pull up to them and say, hey, you know what? Uh, are you in the bonnet business? Maybe they think they're looking as good as uh, Tammy Roman when Tammy Roman was doing her bonnet chronicles. But the first thing we want to do as black women is is pick the thing that's negative we don't even want to see the positive. Ooh, she in a bonnet. Ooh, let me go and correct her. Out of love, out of non-judgment. Let me correct her. I don't 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 correct me. Come, you don't gotta correct me. Maybe pull up and say, hey, are you in the bonnet business? Do you need some sponsorship? Do you need some capital? Do you need maybe somebody with a platform as large as mine to maybe help you promote and move? You know. Develop me from where you find me. And here's the, here's the big thing. Bravo TV is portraying black women. We might as all well be wearing bonnets. The way you saw them, Monique. You know what I mean? Bravo TV is looking at black women in the same manner in which Monique viewed the girls in the airport with their bonnets. Because my understanding, Monique, it of what Monique was saying, is she viewed it negatively. Not negatively like she had to bash him, but negatively like y'all could do better. Well, Bravo TV is looking at us like the same way you saw these girls in the bonnets. Monique, use your platform to address Bravo TV. It was big news. Cynthia Bailey unfollows Portia Williams. Cynthia Bailey, why'd you unfollow Portia? Is it because you're scared she might, you know, that this Simon thing might not work out? And so, you know, Mike Hills has a 
propensity to, to mess around, at least that's what his past has indicated. You scared she might roll over to your I mean, if you unfollowed her because you don't like what's going on, why not say something? So this thing about the bonnets, y'all can just just hang that hang all that up. Who cares about a damn bonnet? It's outward. Maybe that's all these girls have. Monique says, well, you know, it's, you, if you can't, could you just comb your hair? They may not have no hair up under them bonnets, Monique. And Monique's hair be fly. Monique's hair be fly. She don't even have to try. Got a beautiful head of hair. From day one, Monique stepped in on the scene. Hair laid. Stays laid. But it's not about the bonnet. It's the out. what you have on, on the outside does not make you. It might make you feel good, but if the inside of you doesn't like you, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. You still are not going to conduct yourself like the outside. It starts from the inside. And here's the other thing. Who's running Bravo TV? From what I was able to find is that there is not a lot of black female or male representation as it relates to the programming of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Even on any of the Real Housewives of anything. So I, I, I wonder if there were maybe more of us black women that had a say in how this show is ultimately produced if the storylines would be different if the portrayal of reality because this is supposed to be a reality TV show if the portrayal of that would be better quality because here's the other thing on one of the episodes the Halloween episode where they went to Phelan's house and Phelan went off and I don't want to disrespect her because if Phelan is wrong and if she's messing around and she's doing her dirt, she's not all on the internet flaunting it and just saying, hey, look, y'all, here's a bad example. Um, and and y'all be sure to follow me as I do all this bad example. But Phelan went off so tough on this episode in or the Halloween party, whatever it was she had at her house. She was ready to get get with somebody. I think it was Latoya or one of the girls on there. So are you mean to tell me that there's no concern that enough of this provoking that uh, Porsche and Simon Says are doing? You don't think there's enough of that to, to that might push Phelan over the edge? And 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 listen. For those of you who are saying it's just a storyline, it's just a story. You don't get no tattoos for a storyline. Okay? That's not a storyline. And this is the thing, too. This is either reality TV or it's scripted. Make it make sense. So if Phelan decides to just flip her wig and people wind up in the hospital, critical condition, or the morgue because all of this provocation is going on online then what's, what are the Bravo TV execs going to do? Are you going to come back later and say oh well we didn't see it we didn't know come on you, what it is is you don't care you're sitting back like Andy said oh it's wild man it's wild can't wait to see what happens so here's the bottom line, in my opinion. If you are someone, a celebrity, and you've got a large platform, and you want to approach people that are just fans, let's call them that, fans, followers, and you want to come to us out of love and non-judgment and however you wish to label it, if you're not talking about the real, then just don't say anything at all. Just keep on doing you. 
and don't address us. Because what we need you to do is advocate for the right thing. You you don't have a problem. And I'm going to use you, Monique. You don't have a problem sitting down, beautiful tone, beautiful approach, nice choice of words, and I'm sure you meant well. But keep that. Because what what you need to be it's not a, you don't need to be talking to us about a bonnet or not a bonnet. We don't we don't need we don't need you to do that. We're, see, it's safe to address us. See, we're safe. Address your colleagues. Address other celebrities. Because my question is this. Would you let somebody do that to you and Sydney, Monique? And just, and, and, and continue to talk about bonnets? So, keep all that. If you're not talking about the right thing, then just just don't say nothing at all. But ultimately, quit taking quit taking the fans for granted. Don't use your platform and slide in there that oh, and I'm doing three shows over here in Winston, Mississippi at this time, that time, this time. And by the way, y'all don't don't wear them bonnets. That girl, be quiet. Be quiet, Auntie. Go somewhere and sit down, drink your beer, or do your exercise, whatever you're doing. But get out of here. You ain't talking about the right thing. Talk to Portia, to Portia and Shamila about their atrocious behavior. Because ultimately, they ain't wearing no bonnets. So they look respectable. They look like they got pride in a family that, they, that they've created. But their actions don't. So should I wear a bonnet? And, and and with a bonnet, I'm good. And without a bonnet, I mean, what? You get my point? That's it. That's the podcast. Be sure to follow me on all social media platforms. Twitter, Instagram, Station Head, YouTube, Spotify, Anchor FM. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, we'll see you when we see you.